tip-off time for the 1988-89 high school basketball season, a season that will be known as the Year of the Guard. The scramble for the top talent in America began November 9th, the first day seniors could sign letters of intent with colleges. You'll find many of this year's top seniors in the backcourt, those guys who quarterback the offense, who make the unbelievable passes and launch gravity-defying flights to the rim. At the head of the class of 89 is guard Kenny Anderson from Archbishop Malloy High School in Queens, New York. He's considered the best high school player in America, and he's been praised as the best point guard since he was a sophomore. They got me right now. They got me rated number one in the country. And when I step out on the court, I have to live up to that. And the players, you know, they don't make it, you know, easier on me. They, they you know, try to work hard on me and make everything hard. His mind is a basketball computer that makes instantaneous reads to the floor. His hands are magnets that draw the ball to himself. He does anything he wants to offensively. He scores at will. He penetrates at will. Just has a great feel for the game. Kenny, nicknamed Chib, is six foot two, 160 pounds. He averages 25 points a game and has led Malloy into postseason action since his freshman year. The next best guard in America is built like he should be playing a different position. Jimmy Jackson of Toledo's McComber Whitney has the bulk of a forward, but his ball handling skills make him perfect in the backcourt. He's a bodyguard, a 6'5 and a half, 220 pound bodyguard with excellent skills with the ball for a guy his size. Jimmy is contributing an average of 26 points a game, and he knows what to do with the ball in pressure situations. So I got to perform up to my ability and stop trying to make all the expectations of players as best as I can. But if I do that, I'll be satisfied with myself. Another of America's top guards isn't even thinking about basketball yet. Sean Golden of Greer, South Carolina, quarterbacked his school's football team. On the hardwood, Sean's known as a leader and a consistent player, one who'll quietly pop in an average 21 points a game before the opponents know what's hit him. With his father, Louie, as coach, Sean has led Greer to a state championship two years in a row. At St. Anthony High in Jersey City, New Jersey, Bobby Hurley is another coach's son, quietly leading his team to titles. At only 5'11", Bobby is one of America's best pure point guards. He can penetrate a tough defense and find the open man in traffic. One of his big goals this season is a national championship for St. Anthony's. We want to try and go out every game and play the best of our ability. And if we lose one or two games, as long as we know that we tried our best and we played our best. Bobby averages 20 points a game and shoots better than 50% from three-point range. Central High School in Peoria, Illinois has a lethal one-two punch in its backcourt. Chris Reynolds is a workhorse on defense. He's an exceptional ball handler and passer, as well as being a team leader. Chris likes to find the shooting half of the two, Mike Hughes, a 6'6 guard who also enjoys the physical small forward position. Mike likes rebounding, pulling down better than six balls a game. Central was nationally ranked last year, and this season they're hungry to play the best Chicago area schools. I want to play Chicago okay? I have our high expectations for our team. I feel we can go all the way. There's no reason why we can't. Two states famous for high school basketball are boasting blue chip guards this season. In Louisville, Kentucky, Allen Houston led Ballard High to a state title. Opponents have to contain Allen as both a playmaking point guard and as a shooting wing guard who averages 21 a game. He passes the ball, plays within the team concept, and with a new three-point arc, he can drill the three. Allen picked up a lot of the fundamentals from his father, Wade, an assistant coach at the University of Louisville. Across the river in Indiana, guard Calvert Chaney has been pumping in over 20 points a game, a lot of it from three-point range. He's got a soft left-handed shot. Calvert put his speed and leaping abilities to good use as a hurdle finalist in last year's state track meet. Not all of the stars of the class of 89 are in the backcourt. Some of the top seniors are standouts at the small forward position. In Falls Church, Virginia, 6'7", Aaron Bain will again be an intimidating scoring threat for Flint Hill Academy. Aaron is confident underneath the backboard, but he can also cruise the floor. The good point about my game is that I can play outside and go inside, too. And if I only go to a big, big college like I like to, that's, you know, that's going to be one thing I'm going to have to do to become a good player. 
Also from the greater Washington, D.C. area is 6'7 forward Michael Tate of Oxon Hill, Maryland High. He punishes opponents for an average 30 points a game, but Michael can also dominate a game with his ball handling. The best big man in New York this year may well be 6'8 Daryl Barnes of Franklin Lane High in Brooklyn. People who know Daryl call him a gentle giant. This will only be his second season playing in the Big Apple, where the action can get a lot more rugged than his former home in Mississippi. Daryl is accurate from the field, and his leaping ability allowed him to block 17 shots in one game last year. One of the nation's best front court men is also exciting to watch. Lawrence Funderburk of Worley High in Columbus expects another year of 28-point scoring assaults on opponents, including bombs from 18 feet away. He shoots three-pointers as effortlessly as any guard out here. He can be a great player outside of any of the rising seniors, other than Kenny Anderson. He has the potential, I think, to be uh, the finest player. I like open floor. I like to shoot outside, you know, dribble and pass, you know, see a man over there. At 6'7", Lawrence is only 170 pounds, but he's tough enough under the boards to get an average 14 rebounds a game.